Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if an external hard drive is not showing up or being detected on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in Control Panel. Best result should come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by the category view, and then select hardware and sound. You want to select power options, and then select change plan settings for whichever plan is currently selected. And then you want to select change advanced power settings. You want to click the little plus sign next to USB settings, and then select USB selective suspend setting. Click the little plus sign next to that. And you want to go and set whatever is listed under here to disabled. So if there's on battery and plugged in. So if you're using a laptop, you want to click inside the enabled, set it to disabled. And if there's more than one down here, you want to disable both of them. And then select apply and okay. And then see if the hard drive now appears. Something else we can try here as well would be to go ahead and enable and format the drive within disk management. So what we're going to do next is open up the search menu, type in disk management. Best result should come back with create and format hard disk partitions. Go ahead and open that up. And now locate an unallocated space in here. And you want to right click on it and select new simple volume. And then select next. Please keep in mind that this will be formatting the drive. So just make sure you don't have anything saved on here if you're going to be doing this. So anyway, go ahead and select next. We're going to go ahead and assign a drive letter here. And go ahead and specify the drive letter, and then select Next. Name the drive whatever you want. Default usually just says New Volume, but you can change it to something else. If you want to change the file system for whatever reason you can, I'd recommend just leaving it alone. And NTFS, that's usually the Windows standard, so I'd recommend just keeping it that. Uh, perform quick format, you can keep that check marked. Otherwise, like I was talking about earlier, just make sure you're careful what you're doing here because this will, by default, uh, format the drive. You can uncheck that option, but for most of you guys who are probably installing a new hard drive and it's not being detected, so that's why you would keep it checkmarked here. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and select Next, and then Finish, and then it should recognize the drive once it is finished here. So, pretty straightforward process. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.